right, guys, before we continue with today's video, I just wanted to sit down and talk really quick about Opposition Games. They are my newest sponsors. They have all of the top meta cards on their shop. You guys can check them out. And if you guys want to buy anything that is Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon or Magic, of course, you guys can get 5% off using Savage 5 my affiliate code. So make sure you guys check them out. The link will be down in the description. Hey yo, what is up guys, your boy Ed from YouTube Eat you already know. For today's video, I brought you guys my Dino Deck profile. This is the Dino Deck that you guys haven't seen on all my live matches that I've been posting. Uh, I've topped with this deck already, uh, if not twice, three times already uh, consecutively. I think I got second place, first place, and then second place. Uh, this deck actually combats against the meta really well, and it's actually a really, really good deck to play for um, like your matchups again, like against like Fire Kings or against like the Snake Eye stuff, which is uh, it's a really, really good deck for that. Uh, Misk helps you out a lot; it really gets you there. But the thing about it is that you know the one Misk isn't enough, so I was able to throw in here the Colossal package. So I have like the Nemesis and stuff, and I'll show you guys how good that is because it's actually really good because being able to use your misc once recycling it putting back into the deck and then either searching it on your follow-up or searching it then so you can have it for follow-up it's actually really really good but yeah dino deck profile let's go ahead and get into it i hope you guys enjoy uh i know i put out the short and if you guys haven't seen the short make sure you guys watch the short thank you guys let's get into it all right guys getting into the video a uh, couple of things that i want to review is that i feel like this deck is actually pretty consistent and it's actually been working out really well uh, like I said, I've talked with this deck three times already. Uh, the deck plays really smoothly. I think that there's a lot of really niche interactions, and um, there's really the, the way to recycle your misc, which is really important. I haven't really made any changes to the deck, and if I have, there are probably minor changes. But this is literally the deck that you guys have been seeing on all of my matches. Uh, there's a lot of people that haven't read a misc. Misc is super important. Uh, whatever phase you discard this on either your first uh, main phase or your second main phase so whenever you discard this card during that main phase all of your dinos on the field are unaffected by activated card effects your opponents can ash imperm ogre effect veiler they can do anything and everything your dinos are unaffected it doesn't matter and yes they can still pay the cost like let's say you have um your level one jewel baby on the field and you try to pop your baby to then search for the pill. If your opponent ashes, that's, that's a good ash waste. It happens, you still add your pill and then you use the baby's effect if you had a baby's effect, right? If they ash the baby in the graveyard, that's a different thing. They can ash anything and everything like miss getting banished to special a level, whatever dino from your deck, uh, depending on whatever you banish. They can ash that just things on the field can't be affected like they're unaffected like it's just misc is misc it's such a crazy card uh tyranno tyranno's nice uh it can attack every monster once uh if you destroy a monster it goes to the grave and then they special the same monster back and then they have that monster on the field it's a new monster you get to attack it again <laughs> um quick effect you can activate this during the main phase only so your main phase your opponent's main phase it doesn't matter which main phase but only on the main phase and um, you can destroy a monster, not a dino, anywhere either on your hand or on the field. So it's pretty nice. It doesn't have to be a dino, just one monster. This is actually a really, really nice card. I like this a lot. Uh, I think that the one cut that I do gotta talk about is that I cut the Fenrirs that I, that I was playing. I, I really liked Fenrir because you special Fenrir, you search off a of Fenrir, and then if you ever want a Tyranno, you just pop the Fenrir that you added, which is free research, right? But the thing is that, with the build that I'm playing now, I don't think that it's necessary. Um, continuing on, we played three OV Raptors. OV Raptors is like my favorite monster in this deck. For the people who don't know, who don't know, you normal summon him or special summon him, right? But when he is summoned once per turn, you can then um, add or foolish a Dino. So you can add Mist to your hand, or you can foolish Mist, or you can foolish Giant Rex, or you can foolish a baby for some reason. But you can do any of those, right? Those are really, really good options. Also, the other one is that you can destroy a dino on the field to then special summon a dino in your graveyard back to the field. So that, that's really nice. Like, honestly, that works really well. Um, most of the time, the combo is uh, OV, pop baby, special a different baby from grave, and then use the effect of the baby you just popped to summon something else. So nice little stuff. I'm going to go over combos at the end. Um, you already know the baby this is like the most important card in the deck and then you have like a second follow-up baby and this guy's fine and he's good but he's definitely not as good as uh 
actual baby itself because this one's special is level four lower this one's special is level four higher um and this one's really cool but i think the monster can't attack directly to turn it summoned or whatever so it's just like okay that's fine but most of the time you summon out like you summon out like prankertops and attack you can't attack with it but you just trigger prankertops and you pop something on the field which is really good uh moving on two jewel babies the jewel babies is really nice for the people who don't know this you normal summon him or special summon him and then you destroy a dino either in your hand or on the field which is where, what triggers the babies like this is the reason why you play so many babies like playing three babies is cool but no you play five babies because these are also babies themselves uh baby can special this of course this can special that just for the people who don't know uh general rex really nice i still prefer giant rex over the new one that came out where you like search out the poly but that's just my own personal opinion um i don't think that the poly is good because it requires so much setup like it's actually just a lot and i don't like it so that's just i don't i don't think it's a good uh engine to play uh pranker tops of course and then for the last two uh i don't say anything about pranking tops because everybody knows but for the last two is these these are going to be really really good honestly with lars on the field and this this is great the one thing that i always forget is lars can be targeted when it has materials so that just makes it so much better most of the time but uh yeah this is great this you can pop one of the babies for the petites uh special this and then whichever one you pop can get more resources onto the field so then like oh this is when you summon out your pranker tops or your giant rex you know things like that right uh, but yeah, this is like the whole main dino lineup and I really really like it uh, I don't really have an issue with like, oh, you know, do you do you want to play less babies? Or do you want to play one less petite? Uh, one of these I've thought about only playing one of them before but it really sucks when you open it because then You can't special summon it from misc and that's kind of what you want to do with that You want to special one of those with misc most of the time uh, depending on hand of course um two of these this you activate you target the mist you put it back into your deck you special summon this you tribute summon it and then you just summon out your colossus your opponent can't add cards from another deck unless they're drawing so that's really really good uh double ash i'm only playing a couple hand traps and i'm only playing the hand traps that i'm playing because i'm also playing uh cross out in the deck but um these are the only hand traps I play. I haven't required or thought I've needed more. Uh, Crossout has helped out against uh, Ogre. Crossout has helped out against uh, Droll. Uh, both of those have actually helped out against matches when I go second. And Ash is Ash. Ash always works really well. I've considered playing three, but I don't want to brick on it, by the way, because I do think that even though you got the card and, and like opening it up, in doubles sucks and it's happened to me multiple times you guys can watch some of my matches i'm pretty sure that some of my matches that were recently uploaded have had hands like that and at least once or twice but i played like i played like four to five rounds on each tournament that i play so uh maybe like one or twice once or twice during like all of those matches have ha has happened and it really sucks uh triple pot of prosperity i think pot of prosperity in this deck is really nice uh you don't really use your extra deck like that and if you go first and you're setting up a board and this can get you to a card that you might definitely need to make sure that you ensure the combo then this is definitely one of those cards to play like i really really enjoy playing this um i'll show you guys what are some of the cards that i like banish off of prosperity in a bit but this is great uh moving on terraforming so you can play three lost worlds lost worlds nice you give them a token they can't target anything else but the token on the field they try to pop the token you protect the token you special you you pop a baby you special something off a of baby baby maybe special ov ov acts and then there you go that's more and more follow-up all at once so also like if your opponent attempts to like pop like the token like if if they can't pop the token because of like whatever effect like let's say that it requires for them to pop both then they can't like resolve the card so like i think princess has to pop like both things by popping like one of their fires and like one of mine <sighs> i think that the, the token example was a bad example but yeah like they have to be able to resolve like that certain things moving on uh triple blossom dig it's a rota uh rota for anything from one to four one to six actually it's not even one to four it's one to six so super crazy uh this is also a rota but this isn't a better rota and if it were a better rota i would play three i think this is a good one but it's not great multiple opening multiples sucks 
um opening this with no baby sucks so it's just like like it really hurts when you open this and no baby or you just it's a terrible card to open sometimes honestly uh double pill double pill is great um for the people who don't know this i do want to explain i do want to explain these cards real quick because i feel like i'm talking about them as if you guys might know but uh, if a dino is normal summon or special summon, you special summon a token to your opponent's side of the field. It's an earth level one, and if it get if it has to be de if it could be destroyed, you can protect it by destroying a dino from your deck. That's nice. Keep it like that. All dinos, all monsters that are not dinos on the field lose 500 as well. So that's actually relevant and important. People have tried to crash just an 18 into like an 18 or a 25 into a 25, and it's just like okay. <laughs> um, this one you either add the Sino ground or you add the normal dino which is uh these guys so you can add either or and then you pop a dino in your hand or on the field so you can pop like baby and that works out really really well this one you banish a non-dino and a dino from the graveyard to special summon a level seven or higher dino from your deck this is what um this is essentially what like really cheats out like uct it also cheats out like pranker tops if you need it to which is really cool uh moving on for the last couple of cards, cross out. Uh, cross out, we all knew that was coming, but I play cross out and I also play the call by and I also play the instant fusion for the millennium eyes. So essentially, I'm playing like five, four or five call buys, like four, maybe five. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, double imperm as well. Uh, that's literally the whole main deck. I think this main deck is like 43, 44, something like that but i think the deck is like super consistent like i do for the somebody had asked what is a, what is go first what is go second when you put cards in your deck that aren't board breakers and are mostly for like you know like actual engine requirement cards um most of the time when you set up like that you want to go first and then it's like if you roll the die and you get to choose you're going to be the person to choose because you built your deck and then because you won the die roll so now you get to go first and you get to make a board right so it's not just about breaking somebody else's board it's about how like you build so you you can attempt to make a board so they can try to break it uh, extra deck extra deck should be a quick one um colossus millennium ice and of course uh, mud dragon um for instant fusion targets and then for the nemesis for instant fusion i can make this Activate the effect called Dark, Normal Summon, OV Raptor, Effect of OV to search, and then now they can't stop my OV, even if I didn't have Misk, because then OV can't be targeted. It can be Ashed, but it wouldn't be like Effect Veilered or Impermed or something, and that actually happens a lot more. Uh, and then this to just take any of like the important hand traps away. Um, one of the easiest level ones, uh, Link wants to make, honestly. Uh, take one of their monsters easy they get punished a lot of people know how to play around it now and they're just not putting anything in the under the extra monster zones so that's really good um almirage because almirage is actually normal summon like the level one uh jewel baby and then link it away into this and then link it away into this and then this is this is great this actually works out really well um i think having the link karibo to this was a lot better but even than this the normal summon like that's fine you can just substitute and if not, and if you can't, because you did a normal summon the level one, you can just link that into this, and then this and something else into link two, and then you're you're there. Uh, talking about link twos, you don't link this into this, but you can link other things into this, and then get like a non-dino name into the grave. Uh, this, a lot of people were playing this, and I was playing this, and I was thinking about playing this more, but now I only play this because of unicorn. So then, like that, I would, like do this with like <laughs> the, the Lingorna or Anima or if not like the Soul Eating or Raptor and then you just like summon something out you Unicorn and then after you Unicorn of course you have to access Soul Talker but you know um, that's just kind of that, how that goes uh, I also am still playing SP I'm playing this guy so in case you need to lock yourself out of only being able to special summon into Dinos, Dragons and then like Reptiles I think it is you can, you can make this afterwards whenever you lock yourself with ground because then like if you summon this guy and then you pop one of the babies or the petites and then you can only link into this as a link too so then like that you can get like animal into the grave so that's why i use that for the last three things lars is a given doka is a given and lagia uh i think my perfect end board is more more or less like charmer 
both of these and then like UCT at the end. UCT is just on top of it all. It's just kind of, it's just so good. <laughs> but um, yeah, those are like good end boards and I'll show you guys combos after this. <clears throat> side deck, what I've been playing on my side, uh, I've been playing double nib, double beastial, you don't need more. I play double kaiju, but I've only ever sighted one in because it's searchable, but there is times where like I'm playing against a tower deck and I need to sight them both in. And I think that's important. Uh, the shifter, so I don't get shiftered. Uh, to, to blow out back rows, blow out back rows. So like, if I'm gonna go first, I'll side one of these in, and I'll side one of those in if I know that like the, my opponent could shifter me, and then like that, like, <laughs> I just cross out either one of these, and then, oh, here's Nib. No, there isn't. Oh, standby face, there's a shifter. No, there isn't, you know? Uh, Lightning Storm is great. Dark Hole is great. Uh, Dark Ruler, I use Dark Ruler now and then. I actually don't use it as often as like using these four. I'll sight these four in with this, maybe five. <laughs> if I'm gonna go second, this I only sight in if I'm not confident at all. Uh, the third imperm, imperm comes up a lot. Like being able to sight in the third imperm is really, really nice because then you just get to get to use these hand traps on your opponent's turn. What hand traps on my opponent's turn? Uh, but yeah, that's it for the main deck. Let's go ahead and move on. I'm gonna show you guys just like really, really small basic stuff, like just uh, misc and the baby. Just keep it simple. We're gonna go through it really, really quick. You activate Misk by discarding Misk to the graveyard. Get rid of that uh, side deck real quick. All right, discard Misk, bring in, uh, discard him so you can uh, have your dials be unaffected. You banish the Misk, of course. You're now gonna special summon out your level one. So Misk is banished. This is your other card in hand. This gets summoned, you pop the baby, you search off of the pill. So now, here's your pill. Now you're gonna go baby effect to special. You're gonna special Ovi, Ovi effect, add. And then this is where I'm adding Petite. So normal summon Petite, because you haven't normal summoned yet. This was summoned out from a special and so was this. So normal Petite, effect of Ovi to pop Petite, special summon the baby. Now you got the Petite effect. What are you gonna special summon off of this? From here, I like to special summon this guy. This guy's great, either in attack or defense, it doesn't matter. You're gonna link away your level one first. So now you're gonna go ahead and summon out your anima this is still your hand by the way so now this is what your board's looking like so if you're in a situation like this where you've already used always effect to pop the baby and now you got to go ahead and do this right so the next thing that you want to do is because we're also saying that we don't have anything else in hand right because you could you could have had like so many other cards that would have helped you extend this is just a pure two card combo and then so you make this you go effect you pop this and this is going to lock you completely in into like the dinos dragons and then like reptiles so what you're gonna wanna do here is that off of that, you're gonna go ahead and special summon out your normal monster. And then off of the baby, you're gonna go ahead and special summon out your giant Rex. So this is good so far. From here on, I link both of these away. If if I was in lock, I would make something like um, uh, the witch, or I'm sorry, the, the charmer. And if not in this situation, which we are locked, I just, I make her. I make the dino, sorry, the rubber ducks. From here on, now you have that in the grave, and that's exactly what you're gonna do. You're gonna activate your pill. You're gonna banish both of these. You're gonna go ahead and summon out your UCT. UCT, I like to summon out in defense a lot, but depending on the matchup, if I know this is game one, I just put them in attack. Uh, if it's game two, after that, side defense only. Uh, from here on, you're gonna go ahead and summon out your giant Rex back because it got banished through the Peels effect. You're gonna go ahead and make Lars there. You're gonna make Dolka there. You're still unaffected by your opponent's activated card effects because it's all still main phase one. Like you went first. This is what your two card combo leads you to. If you play this deck well, I know this doesn't do much, but with other extenders, you could have made either um, your Charmer here or you could have made anything else. But this is just a good link to that you can link into to be able to make this board happen. All of this was just, was just two cards. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I want to give. I want to leave you guys with just this one combo for now. Uh, this combo is really good. I hope you guys can use it. I am currently thinking about bringing this to the LCQs at Nats to try to get my invite because I haven't been able to play a lot this season, so I haven't been able to have my invite. So I'm thinking about just bringing this over. If you guys think that this is what I should play, let me know down below. If you guys think I should make any changes, let me know now. Let me know down below what you guys think I should change. I think this deck has been working out so well for me. I hope you guys all enjoy, 
and I'll see you guys on the next dyno video. Thank you all. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Don't forget to check out Dank Rituals. Their link will be down in the description. Also, you guys should definitely join my Facebook group. I have a lot of really cool updates and a lot of uh, really good information that you guys might want to keep up with about giveaways and whatnot on there. Uh, also, please, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I would like for you guys to turn on that bell notification as well. I would like to grow my percentage of subbed and not subbed from 20% higher. Uh, I, would, I would really appreciate that. And don't forget to like, comment, share. You already know, guys. Appreciate y'all very much, and I'll see y'all in the next video.